Okay, man, so good to be back. <sighs> I haven't done a video in, um, I guess, probably over a month now. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm still pretty nasally, which um, I got really sick. Uh, about a month ago, I had COVID. And uh, <clears throat> after getting over that and feeling much better, and then I got uh, pneumonia, which I never had in my life. And um, it was just another week of uh, feeling awful, running a fever, that and so forth. So uh, it was pretty rough. But anyway, so I'm feeling better. I'm still kind of groggly a little bit and got a little bit of a cough still. But uh, anyways, so I uh, wanted to shoot a video on this really cool PV Rockmaster. Um, I think this date's about 19, maybe 85, 84, somewhere in there. Um, and I think this was, um, along with another uh, line of those amps that PV were doing, uh, the Butcher, um, the VTM 60, the VTM 120, uh, the Rockmaster, uh, and also they had another one called the Roadmaster, I believe. Um, and it was kind of like this same looking kind of box. I know the Butcher and this, the Rockmaster, it kind of have that look really thick, um, um, uh, case that it's, uh, sitting in and uh, really heavy. Um, but, um, yeah, so this is, um, 120 watts, uh, that's what it's rated at, uh, it's four, uh, 6L6 GCs and three 12AX7s. Um, so um, I got this pretty cheap. It had been in storage for uh, many years. Um, the gentleman said, uh, it, 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 as far as he knew, it worked the last time he used it, uh, that, that it lit up, lights come on, tubes lit up, blah, blah, blah. But of course, I get it and it doesn't work. Um, and actually, there was a um, uh, resistor, a 5 watt resistor on the um, uh, I believe it was on the preamp board where the 12 x 7s are mounted and uh, that one was blown and uh, so I went ahead and did uh, uh, a recap job on the main power board where the main filter caps are and then I uh, did some more replacing on the preamp board as well so I've got a few more things I want to upgrade but other than that this is a cool amp um, and for me personally um, I don't care what really the, uh, you know, if it has a great um, overdriven sound, you know, rocking out sound, great, wonderful. But for me, uh, first and foremost, if it doesn't have a good clean, I just, I don't like that. And I figured if you have a good uh, clean sounding amp uh, to start with, well, you know, uh, if you don't get there by the amp itself, you can always get a pedal and uh, this amp will do it on its own. Um, also, along with my um, uh, 77 uh, JMP 50 Marshall, 50 watt Marshall, um, it doesn't really sound good until you get it wound up. And then it's, you know, really awesome. And this one is kind of the same way. <clears throat> so I'm going to demonstrate it in the cleaner sense or cleaner tones. Um, so you have the preamp volume and it's a push-pull bright on that. And you have this pump, which to me is similar to um, another master volume kind of. That's why it. Uh, that's why I'm taking it. The way it sounds to me, along with the post uh, gain, uh, and that also has a push pull on that. Um, uh, it's a uh, bright or a smooth actually, and then the push pull on the on the uh, gain um, on the preamp is a push pull bright. And then you've got low, mid, highs, and then you got a pull thick knob for that. And I really don't care for that thick sound. I don't know. It just don't. It doesn't sound really good to me, uh, overdriven or clean. And then you got your presence. And then you got a preamp out, uh, power amp in that you can do here. And also the pump. Um, it's kind of like a. You can look at it kind of like a. Like I said, like another master volume or an added, you know, gain. Um, and you can operate that by foot switch, and I've done that, but right here I'm just going to use it on the front um, as is. So I've got it turned up like maybe on two on that and about three on the um, on the other gain. Uh, and uh, on the preamp, uh, it will work and get a good clean sound without adding any gain. So 
I'm going to use um, the, my volume controls on my guitar a lot. And for the overdrive, which will be on the end, um, this thing gets freaking loud. I mean, it really kicks butt. It'll hit you right in the chest. It's like you want it to. Um, and I'm going to use my old favorite, uh, not an old pedal, but um, one of my favorite pedals is the R2R Electric Treble Booster. And I've got it up on the high range setting where it's um, going to be on the warmer or... Um, heavier sound and a more bass uh, if it's up all the way so you got like a six position click I think so all the way down is more modern higher treble but we're going to run it up in here and we'll do that towards the end of the video so um you know I hope you like this stuff and um I've got some more videos that are coming up um but like I said I've been sick it's been hot as heck in my garage so I haven't been able to do a lot of work so this morning I'm in the house and um, like I said hope you enjoy it um the rock master this is a hell of an amp. If you can find one, I latch on to it, man. I really love this amp. I have a VTM 60 in the garage that I need to do a little work on, but it's cool sound. It's just different. Um, but yeah, so like I said, hope you enjoy it. If you like this stuff, please subscribe. You know, there's more to come. Anyways, here we get on with it.
settings where they're at. I will demonstrate using the uh, treble booster how that pedal just puts it over the edge on the rock sound and just really makes it really come alive good. All right, here we go. For today it's all my throat can handle talking so um hope you enjoyed this please subscribe there is more to come i promise you guys have a good day take care <laughs>